Hello everyone, my name is Archer Sharma. Today we will study the topic long channel and short channel effect. First of all, we should know what is long channel MOSFET. This is an idealized classical MOSFET. Whatever the characteristics between the current and voltage are derived by the Shockley model for three reason of operation is for the long channel MOSFET. It should be emphasized that the model doesn't take into account any non-idealities, especially when it comes to short channel device. Means long channel is a long channel MOSFET is a MOSFET which takes idealized factor. What is MOSFET? MOSFET is basically a metal oxide semiconductor filled with transistor. M is stand for the metal, O is stand for the oxide, and then S is stand for the semiconductor. FET is spell defect transistor. Metal is deposited in this region and oxide in between the semiconductor and metal. So overall, this is called metal oxide semiconductor spell defect transistor. MOSFET have three, three terminals, source, gate, and goal. Source is used for the entering the majority charge carrier into the device, and drain is used for the leaving the majority charge carrier from the device. Here, majority charge carrier are electrons because we have taken n channel MOSFET. And gate is used for the controlling the flow of the majority charge carrier in the device. Here, a path between the source and drain which is used to provide to, to, uh, to path to flow of the majority charge carrier. This is called channel. If we take N channel, then this is called N channel MOSFET. There are three reasons of operation in the MOSFET. That is cutoff region, linear, and saturation region. Let us assume that we have a connected ground to all terminals of the device, gate, source, and drain. Then what will happen? Let us see. If we connect ground to all these terminals, then there will be no potential difference between any terminal. So as we know, there will be no flow of the charge carrier. So there will be no current flow. This reason of operation is called cutoff region. Let us say if we connect a positive voltage to the gate to source terminal, then positive charge will be created or positive ion will be created here and negative ions will be created here. Then a conduction path will be developed between the source and drain. So the carrier can flow easily from the source and drain. If we connect drain to source positive uh, drain to source positive voltage, then this conduction path, or we can say the current the conduction between the source and drain can be more easy, and charge carrier will flow from source to drain in this direction in source to drain and current will be flow in opposite of the electron that is called drain current. After equation, we will get the drain current equation for linear and saturation mode. By this figure, we can understand the basic operation of the MOSFET. Here, here we can see that uh, the depletion width between the source and the substrate. Here we have we will take a P type substrate for the N channel device. The depletion region between the source and substrate is called source depletion region, and the depletion region between the drain and substrate is called drain depletion region. And the region between the source and drain. This region is called channel.
of the MOSFET. Here, we can see that these depletion region width is more than the uh, source depletion region width. Why? Let us understand. If we uh, understand that if we connect positive drain to source voltage like this, then we, uh, we know that the region between the source and drain will be act like a variable capacitor, variable resistor, like this. If we connect plus 5 volt to the drain to source voltage, then this will be 0 volt. And the, let us take substrate to the ground. Then this is a P-type substrate and drain is N-type substrate. This will be like a PN junction. So in this side, the end region will be of uh, more positive voltage and in P region will be ground. So this will be in more reverse bias than this side of the PN junction. Due to this, the depletion region of the drain side is more than the source side. Due to this reason, a depletion region will be as a tap out shape like this because here will be positive ion created and negative ion from the substrate. Only the reason for the conduction is formed this reason. This reason, let us take highlighter. This reason, the only reason which is used for the conduction in the device for the majority charge carrier from flow from the source to drain. This reason is called inversion reason. And this is responsible for the flow of the current. So, if we increase the depletion width further, then we uh, can clearly know that if we increase this width, then this reason will decrease. Let us take this, uh, this depletion reason very wide. And this inversion layer will be reduced. So the effective channel length will be reduced. As we can see, let us say this is L dash. So that the channel or the channel length of the device will decrease. So the device is called short channel device. Or we can say short channel MOSFET. Due to reduce reduction of the channel length, the speed of operation of the device will be increased and also the component per chip that we have used in the VLSI or um, chip designing, that will increase. And the effect is called short channel effect. So what is sh short channel MOSFET? A MOSFET device is considered to be short when the channel length is same order of magnitude at the depletion layer width of the source and the drain junction. The channel length becomes smaller due to lateral expansion of the depletion layer into the channel region. There are many uh, effects due to the short channel. Some are advantage and some are disadvantage. There are five different short channel effects can be distinguished that are drain induced barrier lowering and punch through. Second is surface scattering 
third velocity saturation fourth impact ionization and fifth hot electron in short channel mosfet that we have uh, discussed earlier that depletion width of the drain side will increase due to that inversion layer will decrease for that conduction path will decrease so that speed and the component in a chip will increase due to that the modification of the threshold voltage can be seen so let us discuss the first effect that is drain induced barrel loading and punch first of all what uh, what is punch through in this figure we can understand that if we increase the depletion width continuously let us see that then at a time the depletion uh, source depletion region will be merged to the drain depletion region then there will be no conduction path between the source and drain or we can send the uh, we can say there will be no or negligible path inversion layer between the source and drain this is called punch through effect so when how current flow in the mosfet current flow in channel depend on creating and sustaining the inversion layer on the surface as we have discussed if gate bias voltage is not sufficient to invert the surface if gate to source voltage is less than threshold voltage then there will be not form any inversion layer so that electron in channel can face potential barrier due to that current will not flow in the channel or in the device but in small geometry mosfet if we in small geometry mosfet we can see that the flow of the electron or carrier is dependent on the gate to source voltage and also drain to source voltage if the drain to source voltage is increased then potential barrier in the channel decreases due to that drain induced barrel loading will be occur means if drain to source voltage will increase then this depletion region width will decrease and inversion layer will inversion layer width will increase so the conduction uh, the device will get more conduction path for the flow of the electron even if vgs means gate to source voltage is less than threshold voltage then also the channel current flow under the condition this condition is called sub threshold conduction effect or condition and the current flow in that situation is called sub threshold conduction current let us see how the transfer characteristic between the current and the voltage in n channel mosfet we know that the transfer char uh, characteristic between the vgs id and vgs in drain current and uh, gate to source voltage is formed like this in enhancement type n channel mosfet this is threshold voltage means vgs if vgs is greater than vt then current will be uh, will be not equal to zero less than vt or less than threshold voltage there will be no current flow but due to drain induced barrel loading uh, or we can say uh, due to increase in the drain to source voltage there will be current can be seen that that current will be like this there will be no zero current sorry this is something wrong one minute
this current will be like this. There will be no zero current between the threshold voltages. So this current is called sub threshold sub threshold conduction current. And this effect is more in the sub uh, in the saturation region. Because in saturation region, drain to source voltage are more than the linear region. Next effect is surface scattering effect. In surface scattering effect, first of all, we should know the two components of electric field that is longitudinal electric field that is EY, and next is latitudinal electric field that is EF. The longitudinal field component increase due to the shorter channel length, the longitudinal electric field will increase and the surface mobility become field dependent. Since the carrier transport in a MOSFET is confined within the narrow inversion layer and the surface scattering cause reduction of the mobility, the electron move with great difficulty parallel to the interface. So that every surface mobility, even for the half, even for the small value of EY, is about half as much as that of the bulk mode. Let us understand what is say that if we uh, use short channel MOSFET, then the channel length will be reduced like this, and the and the electric field will increase very fast and uh, surface mobility will be dependent on the electric field. Due to that, the inversion layer, uh, the drain side inversion layer is very thin and carrier face very difficulty to cross this region and, uh, uh, and the carriers will rubbed by this surface. Or we can say the mobility is reduced in this region. So this effect is called surface scattering effect. Or, and we uh, we can say that the mobility will reduce to half as much as that of the bulk mobility. And this effect is more in the linear region. Due to that, the drain to saturation velocity, drain to source velocity, voltage will be less in the linear region. Now come to the next effect that is velocity saturation. As we know, the relation between the velocity, drift velocity and electric field that Pd equal to mu e. Initially, when electric field is very less, then drift velocity will increase with electric field linearly from here to here. After that, it will increase sublinearly with the electric field at a time when electric field come to at a point, then drift velocity will not increase further and it will be, it will become constant. That velocity, this velocity that is Vsat, this is called saturation velocity. And carrier will flow in the device with saturation velocity. Due to the saturation velocity, transconductance will decrease. Next effect is impact ionization effect. As we know that in, uh, in short channel MOSFET, the electric field is very high. And due, for, uh, due to that reason, the electron get very high velocity in presence of the longitudinal field. That can generate electron hole pair by impact ionization, that is by impacting on silicon atom and ionizing them. 
let us understand this point that if we increase or we or as we know that electric field is very high then velocity will increase so that this will generate electron hole pair by impact ionization most of the electron attracted by the drain as we know that we connected drain to source voltage to the positive bias then most of the electron will be attracted to the drain because there will be positive terminal to the drain side and holes will come from uh, come to the substrate side this will form part of the parasitic substrate current so that there will be a current will be flow from drain to source or source to drain this is parasitic substrate current and overall this structure will be formed or uh, this is bjt type structure will be formed that is npn bjt then electron can be injected from source to substrate similar to the injection of electron from emitter to base they can gain enough energy as they travel towards the drain to create new electron hole pair this situation is can be very worsen if some electron generated due to high electric field escape the drain field to travel into the substrate thereby affecting other device on a chip if we connect in chip designing of vlsi another mosfet will connected here then due to the substrate current the other device will also be affected last effect is hot electron due to the longitudinal high high longitudinal electric field the electron will get high energy and will move to the oxide charge oxide region and will get trapped by the oxide region due to that it can accumulate with time and degrade the device performance by increasing vt in short voltage and affect adversely the state control on the drain current means if we know that the threshold voltage formula that is vt equal to qx by cox plus metal to semiconductor work function a potential surface potential and qd by cu by this formula we understand that if oxide charge will increase then threshold voltage will increase there we uh, we know that this charge this electron will come to the oxide region and due to this oxide charge will increase due to that threshold voltage will increase so that this will affect the current of the drain current of the device that's it for my side thank you